smiling faces that I see every morning that I do here and I thank you for for doing it I thank you for being here I thank the Holy Spirit for leading you to St. Paul this morning you know I like to say we have other choices there's other places we could be this morning we made the right choice we let the Holy Spirit lead us to worship to give thanks and praise for every blessing in our lives and we we all came to the right place this morning let's get ready to rumble so guess what happened when I read today's Old Testament lesson about Jacob wrestling with God. You guess it, those words came right back to me. And I've never wrestled with God as a man, but I frequently wrestle with God in heaven. I fight him way too often. And if you're honest with yourself and you really think about it, you probably do as well. I fight with him when he wants me to always place him first in my life and I place other things there instead. I fight with God when he calls me to take better care of myself and I fail to do that. I fought with him when I first felt called to go to the seminary years ago and I ignored him for several years before I finally went. I fight with him again when his holy, precious, life-changing word directs me to serve just as Jesus serves and I don't serve with the same commitment that Jesus did. What are you wrestling with God about? Is it not wanting to share your time? Not wanting to share your talents and skills? Not wanting to share your money? Not wanting to share these things with the person who created you, who actually gave us our lives and our abilities and the jobs? But my prayer for all of you today is that you would not rumble and wrestle with God. Don't wrestle with the plans that he has for your life. I pray that you would always respond positively when you're called to serve in any capacity that he knows you have an aptitude for and that you would share with him and his church what you have been entrusted with. But most of all today, I pray that as Jesus blessed Jacob and his entire family because of Jacob, that Jesus would also continue to bless you in all things and bless those that you love, that you might always be a blessing to others in his saving name.
St. Paul Lutheran Church, North Tonawanda, New York, 692-3255. Services Sunday, 8 and 1045 a.m., Monday evening, 7 p.m.